Welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with us today. I am back on Planet Arcadia. You might recognize where I am if you saw yesterday's video about the Gold Rush event that's currently going on. I came to Cali yesterday, paid out a couple of EarnPed.com withdrawals, gave out a whole lot of RK zeros. I will be going back to Cali to pay out more withdrawals and give out more RK zeros. I had to run some gear to a friend here on Arcadia who is running some gear from me. And while I am here, I wanted to make a video I've wanted to make for quite some time. Uh, this is actually probably one of the very first videos I ever wanted to make for YouTube. The reason I've been putting it off is because there's a step 2, 3, and 4, and I'm not ready to do steps 2, 3, and 4. Also, doing this mission doesn't necessarily help me out uh, because of the gear that I already have, but it's something I've always wanted to do, and I know a lot of you are going to go, but you're not making any money. It's not always about the money. This is a game, guys, so remember, sometimes you just got to have fun, right? So... What we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the teleporter. We're going to go over to Celeste Quarry. Remember, remember we're on Planet Arcadia. And we're going to do the Viceroy mission for Viceroy armor. Um, so there was a Skull Candy version of this armor that came out long before I started playing. You can no longer get it. However, you can still get the regular Viceroy armor. And people complain because it's not tradable. It is account bound. However, you can sell it to the TT. So should you ever decide that you no longer want to play Entropia, you can just TT the armor and you can get your TT value back. Now it is unlimited armor. The TT value of the set is 400 ped. So $40. Now all you're losing is the markup that it takes for you to get the set. The reason this is such a valuable set or a set that people want is because of the upgrades that you can do. You can, after you get the set, you can do an upgrade with upgrade parts and you can upgrade it all the way to modified. So if you get it all the way to modified, if you only have three parts that are modified, you get a 10% evade boost. If you have five parts that are modified, you get a 15% evade boost. And if you have all seven parts modified, you get a 20% evade boost plus a 1% increase in critical hit chance, which is huge. Also, as you modify it, the protections change. Uh, if you get all the way to modified, you've got stab 15, cut 14, impact 19, burn 16, cold 11, acid 19, close 48, and firearm 16 for a total of 94 HP and protections. Starting off with the base set, you've got stab 11, cut 9, impact 15, burn 12, cold 8, Acid 14, close 35, and firearms 12. So stab cut impact the three base attacks are 11, 9, and 15, even on the base set, uh, which is a little bit better than your adjusted pixie stats. If I remember correctly, it's probably about double. So the reason that a lot of people don't do it, like I said, is you do lose the markup on the stuff that you have to turn in for it. But hindsight being 2020, you know, should you get your use out of it from a protection standpoint, even if you don't adjust it, even if you don't, you know, modify it, um, if you just enjoy using it, at the end of the day, you can always TT it before you close your account to get that 400 pet back. So what all does it take to get it? Well, let's look at the list because it's extensive. Um, first of all, you're going to need 140,000 explosive projectiles. Now, explosive projectiles are considered an ammunition, so they're not lootable, even though they are stackable. Also, they go in your weapons tab, which nothing in your weapons tab should ever be lootable. So if you're doing that daily challenge on Monaria for 500 crafting, and you're using EPs to do it, uh, to build up your crafting skills, then just save your EPs. You'll have 140,000 before you know it. The rest of it is where it gets extensive. We need a thousand Nova fragments and a thousand Blazer fragments. We need 220 socket three components, 200 socket one components, 300 socket two components, 40 tier one components, 100 electro electronic stabilizing components, 100 animal adrenal oil, 440 animal eye oil, 6,700 animal oil residue, 100 or I'm sorry, a thousand animal muscle oil, 200 animal thyroid oil, 3,000 orange paint cans. Now this is the one that usually gives people a problem because it's got a pretty high markup and they are a pain in the butt to farm. But trust me, farm them you can. Only 100 green paint cans, 100 brown paint cans, 400 yellow paint cans, 50 wool cloth, 1,100 generic leather, 
100 soft leather, 40 wool thread, and then these veneers you can only get on Arcadia, uh, 4,000 Coria veneer, 4,000 Melusa veneer, I, I have no idea how to pronounce these, 3,000 Hikia veneer, and 4,200 Arcus veneer. Now these veneers are refined from wood, so I think it's like if you have like 400 wood, you have like 4,000 veneer or something like that. Um, so you actually need way less wood than you would think. I did bring most of this with me uh, from Arc, or I'm sorry, from Cali. I got a warp over. What's funny is once I got here, I realized I already had almost everything. Um, the only things I did not have were some of the veneers. I had a lot of the wood, so I refined it, and then I was still short a little bit of each veneer, so I grabbed it off auction. Um, I actually had plenty of everything else except for the paint cans. I had to bring those with me. Um, I think I actually had about 2,000 orange paint here on Arcadia that I had grinded out here on Arcadia. Um, all of the components and the oils I had brought with me, but I already had more than plenty here on Arcadia. Uh, the blazer and the Nova fragments I didn't farm on Arcadia. So really pretty much everything on the list I was able to farm on Arcadia, even though I brought double with me. Um, the only exception being some of the veneers I had to buy a few of. Uh, the paint cans, the yellow, the brown, and the green I had to bring with me. And then the Nova Fragment and the Blazer Fragments. So other than the, the non-orange paint, the veneers, and the Nova and the Blazer, everything else I had already farmed plenty of here on Arcadia. I did not know that, so I just went ahead and brought everything with me I needed from Cali. And then I ended up with almost double of everything. So that was kind of a waste of a warp, but hey, you know, it happens. So we're going to go in, and this is Bill. Uh, so we're at Celeste Quarry. We ran up the little side over here to the quarry manager, and we're going to talk to Bill. And Bill's going to give us our voice, Viceroy armor. Um, let's see. So there's Viceroy arm guards, Viceroy adjusted update, improved update, and modified update. Um, then you've got your school candy update, upgrades down here. So if you have the old school candy set and you want to adjust, improve, or modify those, you would have to use these three. If you're wanting to get the new set, then adjust it, improve it, and modify it, you would use these three right here. So I'm just going to start by getting the arm guards from Bill. We'll get all seven pieces since we can't adjust, improve, or modify them at the moment because I don't have the gear. Um, so there's a list of everything we need. Okay, so, cool. Yes, I understand that it is bound to me. So it is soul bound. So, Coriana leather, I need 2,000. Soft leather, I need 100. Yellow paint can, I need 400. Electronic stabilizing component, I need 100. Animal oil residue, 800. So that is step one. So if you guys wanted to do this in steps, you could. Just to get the arm guards, you would need the 2,000 veneer, the 100 soft leather, the 400 yellow paint cans, the 100 electronic stabilizing component, and the 800 animal oil residue. In reality, by the time you guys get ready for this set, you're going to have most of what you need to get the vast majority of the set, I'm sure. By the time you were to collect all that, you, you would have most all this also. Okay, cool. So we got the Viceroy Arm Guards. They have a TT value of 60 ped. So let's go ahead and check those out. Sweet. Oh, good tier rate too. 194 over 200. Almost perfect. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and protect that. Okay. Next, obtain foot guards. Get the foot guards. Yes, I understand it's sold down. Okay, so this time we need the 2000 Mulka timber. So notice it's making me turn the timber in in batches. 300 socket 2 components, 100 brown paint cans. 900 animal oil residue. And the thousand blazer fragments. And we'll go ahead and get those. 
and now we got the foot guards sweet so check those out 166 over 200 for the tier rate not bad now we need the gloves and if you notice, he thinks I'm happy to go collect all this. I've already got it all. So that kind of helps. Another 2,000 Mulka Timber. The 200 Socket 1 components. Paint Can Green. Nova Fragments. And 700 Animal Oil Residue. Now the reason I can't upgrade this stuff, guys, is because to upgrade it, you need Nanites. You need Improved Nanites, Adjusted Nanites, and uh, modified nanites and they are very 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 hard to find usually you can only loot them from a couple of mobs here on Arcadia most of which are usually found in the underground um, and they are a very freakishly freakishly rare drop so to get the adjusted and the improved might not be too bad I'm sorry to get the modified might not be too horrible but the adjusted are the ones that are hard because that's what everybody needs um, so needless to say, if you're wanting to go all the way through modified, you're going to have to do one of two things. You're either going to have to do a crap load of hunting um, of very certain mobs in order to get the adjusted, improved, and modified nanites that you need, or you are going to have to pay through the wazoo to get them off auction. Um, it is not cheap. I, I mean, we're talking a considerable amount of money to take a base set and make it modified if you don't do the looting yourself. And if you do do the looting yourself, more power to you because it is going to take you quite a while uh, to get all those nanites together. You're talking a lot of hunting. One of the reasons I'd kind of put this off is some of the gear that I have. Uh, where'd my muscle oil go? Oh, that's not the muscle oil. There's the muscle oil. 2100 residue. Um, some of the gear that I have, specifically one of my rings, gives me a better evade boost than what this armor set would offer if it was modified. So there's really no point in me modifying it. And if there's no point in me modifying it, there's not really a point in me having it per se. However, I've always liked the armor. I've always thought it was super cool looking. And it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I probably will eventually modify it someday. So that's why I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Plus, I wanted to make this video for YouTube because there's a lot of people out there. They don't have the gear that I have. They're, they're not going to have the vent rings that I have or whatever. And you know what? Maybe for some of you out there, it's worth taking the time to go out there and farm those nanites. Or it's worth even just having the base set for the better protections that it offers. Adjusted Pixie is only going to get you so far, guys. Um, I still use my Adjusted Pixie every now and then, but I use my Ghost Armor more than just about anything nowadays. And it's just nice to have another set of armor. Now, there are a lot of unlimited armors out there that are arguably cheaper slash better slash whatever. Um, you know what? If you like to go the limited armor route, that's cool too. But this is just something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to have. Therefore, I am going to have it. So, what did we get? We got the shin guards. Where'd the shin guards go? There they are. We're going to protect those. Tier rates on the first couple of pieces were pretty good. Tier rates are starting to kind of go down a little bit. And this should be part number seven. All right, here we go. Uh, wool cloth. Oh no, this is part six, I'm sorry. So there's one part left after this. Alright, then we got the thigh guards just now. Oh yeah, that tier rate kind of sucks. And last but not least, the helmet. And guys, don't do as I do. Do as I say. Um, as most of you know, things have not been going great in real life. I haven't really told anybody why or really gotten into the details of it. But let's just say it's been pretty brutal. 
Um, so it's not always a good idea to play Entropia when you're not in a good mindset. And I'm definitely not in a good mindset, but I'd already planned on making this video for a very long time. Hence why I'm just going ahead and doing it. Ooh, 28 out of 200. Ooh, that's a pretty bad tier rate. But hey, the first couple of pieces were really, really good. So that's cool. All right, so that gets me everything I need for my Viceroy armor. See, here you can actually dispose of it. Um, I'm not going to click that, but if I ever wanted to, I could dispose of it. So apparently you don't TT it. Apparently you come back to Bill and you give it back to him. Uh, I do not want to destroy it, so I'm going to keep it. And then if I want to upgrade, I would first upgrade to adjusted, then improved, then modified. Um, so to take you guys through it, I don't have the information in front of me, but let's say we wanted to go from uh, improved to modified. You would need one full TT Viceroy armor part, one full TT Lupus limited part, two modified nanites, 100 bismuth plating, and four Zulax ingots. So there is more than just the nanites that you need. However, keep in mind that the nanites are usually the most expensive part of the whole thing. So now let's check out what we got. And what's cool about this armor set is if you do manage to loot the horns on Monria, you can actually wear the horns with this armor set. So you don't have to pick between the armor and the horns. You can wear the helmet, the horns, the whole nine yards, uh, which is pretty cool. Sometimes if you have certain armor on, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, that's the whole set. So notice that I now look just like Bill. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so there it is in all of its glory, the Viceroy armor from Arcadia. So with this armor, you can wear the horns and the helmet at the same time. A lot of armor, you have to pick between the horns and the helmet. Not the case with this one. So if you did have it all the way to modified and you wanted to get the seven part protections, that extra evade buff, that extra critical chance buff, and still have your reload speed from your horns, you can do that. Uh, you'll also see people wearing like little kilt looking things with this. You can wear certain pieces of clothing with this. I know there's some skirt slash kilt type things that you can wear with it. So it's just a pretty cool armor set to have. And not everybody has it. I wish I could get the old school candy version, but it is account bound and unfortunately no longer available. But hey, we got it. So that's what matters, right? And you guys got to see it here. So like I said, the full TT on it, notice that the parts came out full TT. Uh, TT for each part is different. 60, 52, 96, uh, 36, 56, etc. But full TT is 400 pet. So just to give you guys an idea of why it is so expensive to upgrade this. Let's go to auction real quick. Um, so adjusted nanites, one of them. Uh, bidding is opening up at 179 ped for one. So $17.90 for one and you need several per piece and you got seven pieces. So figure, it, let's say you needed two per piece. I think you might actually need four. You're looking $30 a piece. You're looking $210 just to adjust the set. Modified nanites uh, are a little bit cheaper. 12, which would do six of the seven pieces for 422 ped, uh, one for 37 ped, two. So the modifieds you'll notice are a little bit cheaper because very few people need to modify it. Improved are a little bit more expensive, 40 five 40 ped somewhere in there uh one for a hundred ped uh the adjusted 9x those are the most expensive because those are the parts that you need first right that's the part that everybody needs now i need it uh so 150 to 160 ped per nanite if not more so getting those adjusted nanites is going to be very expensive getting the improved nanites slightly less so and then getting the modified nanites much 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 cheaper because very few people make it all the way to modified so guys if you want to do this uh like i said for the base armor alone it's great if you want to go the adjusted improved modified route more power to you it's going to take a lot of farming to make that happen that was arcadia auction let's check cali because sometimes there are nanites on cali 
that people bring back from Arcadia, but you're going to see kind of the same thing. Yep, even more expensive on Cali and no adjusted nanites available. So guys, that is kind of the video I wanted to make today, just showing you the armor itself, telling you a little bit about it, about why I wanted to get it. Like I said, it's just a cool piece of armor to have. It is unlimited, so you can repair it. It's something I've always wanted, and therefore I got it. Guys, be sure and keep up with the RK Zero competition. I have a crap load of RK Zeros left to give away. I gave away probably two dozen last night. I'll be giving away many, 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 many more in the coming weeks. Um, I'm going to be heading back to Cali again later tonight to give away even more. If you want to make a withdrawal from earnped.com, shoot me a private message. I've got several I need to respond to this evening, in fact. Or if you can't get a hold of me in-game, shoot me an email at sbraggs62 at gmail.com. That's S-B-R-A-G-G-S 62 at gmail.com. And if you didn't catch yesterday's video, I do now have an advanced form of the RK0 competition uh, where you can get RK0's gear or even pure ped. So if you're somebody who has been doing the RK0 competition on a daily basis religiously and you would like to get into the advanced competition, email me at sbrag62 at gmail.com. That's S-B-R-A-G-G-S-62 at gmail.com. And I will get you set up. Please do not email me to get into the advanced competition unless you can commit to doing it at least once a day. Um, that I, I don't need a thousand people doing it. Just a handful will work. I've already got several people who have hollered at me that I know are going to be doing it because they're super, super loyal followers. And I appreciate that. Guys, I do have more content coming for you in the very near future. Some on Cali, some here on Ark, some on other planets. But I hope that this has been a fun video. A lot of people will tell you not to get this armor because there's better limited armors out there or because you lose that markup. But at the end of the day, it's 400 TT. You know what? If you've already got the materials or if you can collect them pretty easy, it's cool armor to have. It's got better protections than your adjusted pixie. It's always nice to have more armor sets to pick from rather than less. And it just looks amazing, in my opinion. It's one of the coolest armor sets I've seen. Uh, this is one of those armor sets that when you see it, as a new player, one of the first things you think is, how do I get that? So this is one that I've wanted for a long time. I'm glad you guys got to share the experience with me. From everybody at earnped.com, sip, sip, smack, smack, F the haters, and we'll be back with more content for you guys very quickly. Have a good one, and take care, Stevies.